Hi friends, I'm going to show you today the different types of edges. So this is my palette, blue here. I'm going to take ultramarine and show you all the edges because this is very interesting color. It shows you granulation as well. And this is my warmer side. So let me show you. I'm going to take some water here and put it wet the paper wet the paper and now i'm going to take this blue color 50 percent water 50 percent color you see i'm taking this is called a milky wash 50 percent water 50 percent color and i'm going to put it here and see how it behaves just uncontrolled way it just has no edges you see here so it's uncontrolled now I'm going to take another one here I'm going to wet this portion but I'll come back to it later I want it to be a damp or moist now I'm going to take same color, 50% water, 50% color, milky, and I'm going to try on dry paper, which is here. You see how it has clear edges and razor sharp images compared to this. So where do you use this? Fog, um, very far background, first wash and then later when it's dry you can start building uh, different layers on top of it so this is very good for the foggy effect or things which are very far see this is how it is razor edge now this portion I'm happy it is dried let's come back to it and see so it's a control wash it's moving but not like this so I'll take you can try some other color and you can control it basically to your advantage however you want it because it will not behave like this you have some way to control it all right so you can play around with this you can move it this is control and this is a control wash uncontrolled wash this is razor sharp razor edge now the last one is um, called broken I took straight color from here no water and you see here this it's leaving some so this is very good for twigs branches wherever you want an effect of a broken like old houses it looks very beautiful well, that's uh, for the, today's quick and short session on uh, edges. So again, recap, uncontrolled, no edges. You can see a difference here. It will fall very quickly. Controlled, you wet the area, wait for some time, and then go back. You can control it. This is right on the dry paper. So very crystal clear razor sharp edge and this one is no water pure color dry brush you see more you wait it's 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 a beautiful if you have all these four effects on one painting um, it really looks good all right thank you uh, I'll show you now a painting which um, has all these effects as a reference Let's take an example in this painting, what we learned. So if you look at this strokes, this was an uncontrolled wash. So I had wet the entire paper and I moved colors in. So this is flowing on its own. It's all uncontrolled wash. Now you see here, these lines, these are crisp razor edge lines. You see here, these are the crisp lines. So that's another 
even example of this these leaves these are crisp these are not blur effect um, then the control wash is here if you see I wet this I waited for some time and then I added uh, green this is sap green viridian to kind of give you a grassy look but it's it's a uh, flowing but it's flowing in a controlled way so this was a controlled wash this is an uncontrolled wash these are razor edge razor edge sharp edges razor edge and broken uh, somewhere you can see here these are the broken effect so i tend to um, do this in every painting um, again you don't do it consciously like i've done three edges now i need to introduce fourth it doesn't happen it doesn't work that way um it's if you start practicing daily or at least two to three paintings per week um it will come automatically it's like like riding a bike you don't have to tell yourself that you have to now put a break it just it just happens right so um, that's that's the way it works uh, just try sketch daily sketch is really a very powerful tool uh, if you can't paint um, so if you see this is sketchbook I did a painting of this one and um, before painting I did a sketch so this was a sketch and this was the same painting so it just helps if you have done your sketching work paintings um, is easier because you know you have done all your homework here so have your sketch pad and you know try to do a daily so this is another boat one which is ready and i have to do a painting of that so i've done my homework for sketch then you have this is another lighthouse painting which is sketch is ready that's my next because I've done all the study here I know which are my darks which are my medium which is my light color so all that work is done um, so my next uh, session I'm going to cover about supplies because I'm hearing a um, lot of questions that my students ask what kind of paper what kind of paper is this so this is a um, cold press paper what's the difference between cold press and hot press what's the difference between rough and what kind of brushes do you use so i'll cover all that in the next um session so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and thank you all for watching thanks have a good day